For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a skein and a half of Lion Brand's Pound of Love in the color Elephant Grey, and a quarter of a skein of Taupe. As for tools, a 6mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, tape measure, and a tapestry needle. There's an optional written pattern that can help out too, link in the description if you'd like to grab that and follow along. And watch till the end of the video to find out how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using 4 stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this cardigan started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn, make a slip knot. We're going to grab our 6mm hook and start off by making a chain that goes from the tip of our shoulder down to where we want the bottom of this cardigan to be, keeping in mind that we will have a bottom border as well. And for me, that's going to be a total of 21 inches or 59 centimeters, and that comes out to about 85 chains. And now that we have our row, we're going to be going in with our first row of half double crochets. So all that is, is blocking off that last chain. We're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. And we're going to prepare for a half double, insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or our third loop from our hook with a half double. And let's do one half double slowly together and then I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. So all that is, is a yarn over, insert your hook into that next available loop that we have in our chain. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through one. We should have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through all three loops. And we're going to keep doing that all the way down our chain. And then once we make it to the end, we'll meet each other back so that we can do our chain up of two and then do more back loop half double crochets. Once we have our first row of our half double crochets, we're just going to be doing more half double crochets. But for the rest of this piece, they're going to be going into the back loops. So to start that off, we're going to be doing a chain up of two. That's what we're going to do every time we get to the end of a row. That's how we work our way up to the next row. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. And then into this first available back loop that we have, we're going to be inserting our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that is how we do our back loop half double crochets. And we are just going to keep doing this portion, which is going to be the bulk of our back until this width that we're working on fits our back. And mine is going to be from shoulder tip to shoulder tip, and that's going to come out to about 13 inches or 33 centimeters, or roughly 29 rows. So you guys go ahead and adjust to whatever size you guys need, but I'll meet you guys back once we have that done. We are back with the entirety of our back piece, and once we have this portion done, we can start working on the underarm portion. But first, I'm just going to tell you guys the measurements that I have. So like I said in the previous clip, this went from shoulder tip to shoulder tip, and that was a total of 13 inches or 33 centimeters, and that came out to about a total of 29 rows of back loop half double crochets. But once when we get here, we're going to start working on this side, because this is where our hook is at. We're going to start doing decreases of two just into one side of our work, so that it starts to decrease down, forming the armhole that we need so that we can do our sleeves later. So let's get that started together. So since our hook is already on this side, we don't need to do anything else. We can just start going in with our armhole. So all that is, is going up with a chain up of two, flipping our work, and then just into this one side, we're going to be doing a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So let's do that together. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet, go into that first back loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on the hook. And then we're also going to be going into the next back loop yarn over, pull through one. We should have four loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything on our hook. And that is our back loop half double crochet decrease. And then from here, we're just going to go all the way down, putting one back loop half double crochet into every loop that we have. And then once when we make it down to the end, we are going to keep that blunt. So all we're going to do is do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then bring our work back on down to the side that we are currently at. But we will leave the last three loops so that we can do another decrease of two together and then put one half double crochet into that last back loop. So I'll meet you guys back once when we make our way back to this decrease side. So we are back and we've just made it all the way down to this decrease portion again. 
and we're just going to do another decrease into the third and second to last back loops that we have and then put one half double crochet into that last back loop and then from there we can just keep going down with this underarm portion so into the third to last back loop we're going to prepare for a half double insert our hook into that third to last yarn over pull through into that second to last back loop yarn over pull through we should have four loops on our hook from here we're just going to yarn over pull through all four loops and then that is our decrease again and once we get here into this last back loop we're just going to go in with one back loop half double and that's just to make this side cleaner and also easier so that once when we go in with our sleeve it's easier to connect to but once when we have that we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double flip our work and then into these first two back loops we're going to be doing another decrease so since we're here we're just going to do another one together insert into that first back loop yarn over pull through and then into that next back loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all four and we're going to keep doing this all the way down and remembering that we're only decreasing on one side and i'm going to keep going down just like this until this hits mid underarm but this is going to be a little bit looser and a little bit of a bat wing so i'm just going to show you guys what it's going to ultimately look like so this is where we're currently at with our back piece we just did a couple rows of our decreases and this is what this is right here and we're just going to keep going down until this reaches underneath your underarm so that we can go in with our sleeve and just to let you guys know from when we did our first decrease all the way until where i'm going to stop i'm going to have a total of about 10 inches or 25 centimeters and that is about 25 rows so this is going to be a pretty decent size underarm portion for this cardigan so we're just going to keep decreasing along one side doing back loop half double crochets and keeping the bottom end blunt and then once when we have that we're going to cut and tie and then i'll meet you guys back just one more time so that we can do the same thing that we did here along this other side so we are back and we have just finished up doing this back side underarm panel and as you guys can see it has decreased quite nicely and just to remind you guys in the previous clip i said that i had 25 rows and from here the stitch marker is just to show me where my first row of decreases was all the way down to where i have this i have a total of my 25 rows and then once when we have this we're going to have to do the same thing that we did here on the other side of our work so from here i'm just going to show you guys where we're going to insert our hook and how to start this off and then from there i'll let you guys have at it just like how we did the other side So right before we insert our hook into this side and start going in with our underarm portion, we're first going to need to figure out which direction we're going to need to start working our. So the easiest way to do that is actually taking a look at the tail end of this first chain that we made for ourselves. So wherever this tail end is, you're actually going to be starting on the opposite side. So once we figure that out, we are going to insert our hook into the opposite side from where our tail is, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. So we're now taking a look at the other side of our back piece that we have. We're going to need to start going in with our decrease rows, and I'm holding up the corner that does not have our initial chain tail. We can toss that aside. Once when we are holding up the right corner, we're going to go in with more back loop half double crochets. But really quickly, the reason why we're going into the side that is the opposite of where our tail is, is so that we can keep up with this ribbing pattern. Because if we go in from the other side, it would still look fine, it would still be wearable, but the ribbing may be just a little bit off. So by doing it this way, we make it as seamless as possible. But starting off this row, we're going to be inserting our hook into that first back loop, inserting our working yarn onto our hook, pull through from here we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet and then since we're at the bottom or the blunt end of our work we're going to do back loop half double crochets all the way up to the end until we just have three loops left and then we'll be doing a decrease together and then from there i'll let you guys have at it we've just made it all the way down with our first row of the other side of our underarm portion we left the last three loops so that we can go into those last three with a decrease together and as you guys can see it is along the top which is the same side that has the decreases on the other side so we are in good shape but once when we are here we're just going to decrease together really quickly we're going to yarn over insert our hook into that third to last back loop yarn over pull through into that second to last back loop yarn over pull through we should have four loops on our hook 
Once we get here, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything on our hook. We should have just one loop left. From there, we're just going to put one regular back loop half double into there. And since we're here, we're going to do the next decrease together as well. So we're going to do a chain up of two. That always counts as a half double crochet. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Then we're going to be decreasing into the first two loops. So into the first back loop, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then into the next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Should have four loops on our hooks. So we're going to yarn over, pull through all four. And from here, just go all the way down with back loop half double crochets, chain up two, work your way back down while maintaining the decrease along this top end that we have. And then we're going to keep going until we have the same amount of rows that we have for the first side. So like I said, mine was 25 rows, but you guys can adjust to whatever you guys have. And I'll meet you guys back once when we have this entire underarm portion finished up. So we've just finished up going in with the entirety of the back portion. As you guys can see, both of our underarm chunks are done and I have cut and tied. And once when we have this entire piece finished up, we're going to want to do the front piece, which is basically going to be a little less than one half of what we just did over here. So I have one side already done. So let's just show you guys what mine's looking like. So I've just laid my front panel on top of my back panel and I have the same amount of decreased rows or underarm portion as I have in the back. Everything is nice and lined up. And then as for where to start your blunt portion, which I only have five rows of my regular back loop half double crochets before I went in with our underarm portion, I actually put the back piece onto myself. And then from there, I measured about two inches from the base of my neck outwards towards the shoulders. And then from there is where I decided to do my blunt portion for our shoulder chunk because we are going to have a two inch border or five centimeter border along the inside as well. So that's why we wanted to keep this space open for us. But once when we have figured out that length, we are going to get started on this front border together. So just to start off this front panel together, it's going to be exactly the same way that we have done the back portion. So we're going to grab our yarn, make a slip knot, insert our same six millimeter hook into our yarn. And then from here, we're just going to make a chain that comes out to the same amount of chains that we did for the length of the back that we have. Once when we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is exactly the same way that we started the back. We're going to block off that last chain. Do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. We're going to prepare for a half double and then insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the third loop from our hook. And then from here, we're just gonna go all the way down, putting one half double crochet into every loop that we have. Once we make it to the end, we're gonna chain up two, flip our work, and then do back loop half double crochets for whatever measurement we need from the spot that is two inches or five centimeters away from the base of our neck to the tip of our shoulder. And mine just so happens to be five rows, like I said, or also two inches or five centimeters. So I'm going to go in with that and then I'll meet you guys back just so that we can start our underarm portion together. So I'm back with my little front panel shoulder chunk, which is over here. I know it's a little blurry, but this is what we talked about in the previous clips. And then once we get here, we're just going to do the decreases just like how we've been doing for the back portion. So we're just going to do the first one together and then I'll let you guys go from there. But once when we get here, Really quickly, I have five rows or two inches or about five centimeters. But once when we get here, I'm ready to start doing my decrease for the underarm portion. So I'm gonna do a chain up of two. I'm gonna prepare for a half double, insert my hook into that first back loop. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through that one loop. And then also into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops. We're gonna yarn over, pull through all four. And then from here, just put one half double all the way down. Once we make it to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then work our way back up, leaving the last three loops. And then we will be doing a decrease into the third and second to last, and then putting one half double into that last back half loop, back half loop, that last back loop, half double crochet. And then from there, we're going to do a chain up of two, decrease since we're on our decrease side, and then work our way back down. And then we're going to keep going back and forth like that until we have the same amount of decrease rows that we have along the back because we need it to match each other. And then once when you guys have that, cut and tie and then do this entire sequence just one more time. I already have mine done, so I'll just meet you guys back once when I have this front panel finished up. So we're back and we have just finished up 
doing both of our front panels and the next thing that we're going to do is connect everything so that it's easier for us to figure out how long we need the sleeve to be. So the only two places that we're going to be connecting it is this little shoulder chunk that we have up here on both sides obviously and then also the side seam that we have right here. So we're going to get started with the side seam that's going to be fairly easy and then we'll do the shoulder chunk and then from there we can get started on the sleeve. But right before we get started, you guys are going to want to grab your secondary color if you guys are using a second color. If not, then you guys can use the same one that you've been doing. But this is going to be reversible, so the secondary color, or this piping, what we're going to call it during the video, is going to be visible. So if you only want certain things to be visible, then go ahead and use your main color. But you guys can get to pick and choose from there. So we're just going to get started on the side portion first, and I'll let you guys go from there. So going in with our side seam, I'm first going to be inserting my hook into the corners that we have underneath our arms. This part actually doesn't matter. We can start at the bottom or the top, whatever you feel more comfortable with. But I'm just going to start it here. So I'm going to be inserting my hook in through the first loop that we have into the front panel. Then also the first loop that we have into the back panel. We're going to be inserting our secondary color. We're going to pull through, chain up one to secure, and this is going to be fairly easy. We're just going to be going all the way down with the row of single crochet, making sure that we're going in through both the front and the back panel at the same time. So let's do the first few together into the first available loop that we have in the front panel, and also into the next available loop that we have in the back panel. We're going to insert our hook, and we're going to single crochet that close. Let's do the next one together. So into the next available loop in the front panel, and the next available loop in the back panel single crochet everything closed and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more loops left go ahead and cut and tie and then we'll meet each other back so that we can do the shoulder chunk so we just went all the way down with our side seam and i actually went ahead and did the same thing that we needed to do here on the other side so i'm done with that side the next thing we're going to do is go in with our shoulder chunk and this is going to be different for everyone depending on how big your shoulder chunk is but all it's going to be is a row of single crochet going into each of these side half double crochets until we don't have anything left to go into into the front panel and then we're going to cut and tie. So let's get started with this corner. The easiest way to get started is actually to hold it any way that we get started that's closest to the corner of our armhole right here. So we're just going to figure out which one we need to go into and then we're going to insert our hook. So inserting our hook into the side half double crochet row, the first one that does not have any decreases, that's right next to the armhole, we made sure that we inserted our hook in through both of those loops. We're going to insert our secondary color onto our hook, pull through and chain up one to secure. And that counts as our first loop, single crochet as well. But once we get here, we are gonna do single crochets all the way across, but since this is side half double crochet rows, we're going to be alternating between two single crochets and one single crochet. So let's do the first one together. So since we did our chain into this first one, we're gonna be looking at this next side half double crochet row. We're gonna insert our hook into this first side half double crochet into the front panel. And then also into the next back panel, we're going to single crochet, but we will be doing two single crochets into this side half double. So there's one and there's two. And then, like I said, we're going to be alternating. So into this next side half double crochet row, we're just going to be going in with one single crochet. So let's do that. And we have our one into the next. We're going to be doing two. So there's one, two into that same side half double crochet row. And then I just have one more row left to go into. So let's do that together. We're going to insert our hook into that next one. And in the last one, how many did we do? Two. So into this last one, I will be doing one single crochet if i can get my hook into the loop there we go single crochet and since i've made it all the way across i'm going to chain up one and cut and then you guys can do the same thing on the other side and then after that we'll get started on the sleeve so everything is all seamed up on both sides and getting started with the sleeve we're going to want to try this on and then figure out how long we want our sleeve to be keeping in mind we will have a cuff at the end as well and then doing this one is going to be a little bit different than how we've done pretty much every other cardigan that we've done so far because we're doing the sleeve in pieces. So what we're going to do is measure from the top of our shoulder 
down to where we want the sleeve to go. This is going to be a long sleeve, remembering we will have a cuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off by making a chain of 18 inches or 46 centimeters, and that's roughly about 60 chains. And that is coming from the top of my shoulder down to where I want the bottom of my sleeve to be. And then once we have that, we can go in with the rest of the pattern. So just to start off one of our sleeves off together, like I said, I'm going to be doing a chain that comes out to about 18 inches or 46 centimeters, and that's roughly 60 chains. So that's the chain count that I will be making, and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we have our chain count, what we're going to do is just go in with a row of half double crochets, just like how we've started pretty much everything else so far. So we're going to block off that last chain. Do a chain up of two that counts as a half double, prepare for a half double, and then insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the third loop from our hook, with a half double. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down, just putting one half double into every loop. Once we make it to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, and then do a decrease of two into the first two back loops that we have. So I'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together. We've just made it all the way down with our first row of half double crochets when it comes to our sleeve. And like I said in the previous clip, all we're going to do is do a chain up of two. We're going to flip our work and then do a decrease into the first two back loops. So let's do one more decrease together. We're going to be inserting our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through. Then also into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through all four loops on our hook. And then we're just going to go all the way down with back loop half double crochets, leaving the other end blunt. So we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then we're going to do more back loop half double crochets coming back down this way. And then we're going to leave the last three loops because we're going to be doing a decrease into the third to last and second to last back loop, just like how we have been doing. And then also put one back loop half double crochet into that last one, chain up of two, and then decrease since this is the decrease side, and then work our way back down. And then for the amount of rows that we need, it will be different for everyone. I'm actually just going to keep going until I have the same amount of rows as I have into this portion that we didn't close up for the body. So once when we have more of our sleeve done, this is how it will look and eventually will be attached. Like I said, I have 25 rows for this sleeve slash underarm portion. So I'm going to be going in with 25 rows of my sleeve, remembering to decrease along one side, keeping the other end blunt because that's going to be where our cuff is. And then I'm going to keep doing that all the way down. But once when I have just four loops left to go into, so after the 21st row, I will be switching out my colors to the secondary color just so that I can have a little pop of color, but you guys can do that. You guys cannot all dependent on you guys, but yeah, so I'll just meet you guys back once when I have the majority of this portion done, I will show you guys how I'm going to be switching out my colors and then I'll let you guys have at it from there. So I am back with a good portion of the first part of our sleeve all finished up. And like I said, I will be switching out my colors for the last four rows. So I have a total of 25 rows here for the body portion. So I have a total of 21 rows for my sleeve. And then for the last bit, I'm just going to be going in with our secondary color. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how I switch out my colors, even though it is fairly simple. All we're going to do is wherever our hook is, we're just going to finish up that last stitch that we're doing. We're going to take our yarn, insert that onto our work, pull through, and then we're going to cut the original color. We can now tie the two tail ends together and then from there we can go in with the same pattern of maintaining the decrease on one end and keeping the other end blunt until we have the correct amount of rows that we need so that it can fit this front portion. And then once we have that we're going to be doing this sequence a total of four times. So since we have this one done I'm going to be doing it three more times. So go ahead and get all of that done and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can connect everything and then start working on the cuff, the border, the pocket, everything else. So we're back with our two sleeve panels. They're actually all finished up and we are nearly ready to connect it into the body portion. The only things that we have to do along the sleeve and the body portion actually is just go along with a row of single crochet along the slanted edges for the sleeve 
portions that we have. We're not going to go along the blunt ends because that's going to be where the cuff is. We're going to do something else there. As you guys can see, I already have one of these done. I'm going to show you guys how to do the single crochet row along this other one. And then we're also going to need to do a row of single crochet around the entirety of our armhole that we already have. But it's going to be pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to show you guys how to do that along this sleeve portion that we have. And then we can get moving on from there. So taking a look at our sleeve portion that we have right here, just one side, it's actually going to be fairly simple. We're just going to go along the slanted edge that we have with the row of single crochet. But since these are all side half double crochets, we're going to be alternating between one single crochet to two single crochet. So let's get that started. We're just going to insert our hook into that corner loop, pull through, chain up one to secure. And since it's in the corner loop, we're going to be going into this first side half double crochet with one single crochet into that first loop and then into that next side half double row that we have we're going to be going in with two so here is one single crochet and then two single crochet into that same side half double crochet row let's do one more set of these together into this next loop we're going to go in with one single crochet and then into this next one two single crochet then we're going to keep doing this all the way down alternating between one single crochet to two once we make it all the way down to the end of this portion of the sleeve that we have we're going to cut and tie and do the same thing that we have here on the other side and then once we have that i'll just vaguely talk to you guys about doing the same thing along the body portion of our armhole and then we can get to connecting And the only reason why we're going in with this row of single crochet first before we start to seaming everything together is just so that once we go in with our secondary color, it can actually look a lot cleaner than it would be if we were just to go in with our row of seam with the secondary color. So I've just finished up going in with our row of single crochet along the slanted portion of our sleeve panels that we have and we have set those aside and now we're just going to go in with a row of single crochet along the armhole that we currently have. So that's going to be pretty much the same way that we did the sleeve panel. So we're going to first start off by inserting our hook in through this very first side half double crochet row that we have that's right next to the seam. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, chain up one to secure. And then from here, since these are side half doubles, we're going to be going in with one single crochet, two single crochet into the next, one single crochet, two single crochet into the next. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around till we get up and over the shoulder, bring it on back down. And then once we make it back down here, we're going to connect into this first chain that we made for ourselves with a slip stitch so that we can close this off. So go ahead and do that. Once we get to the end, go ahead and cut and tie, and then I'll meet you guys back. So we just finished going all the way around our armhole with our single crochet row, and we've introduced one of our sleeve panels. We set the other one to the side because we don't need it right now, but all we're going to do is just seam these two together. So it's going to be fairly easy since we just went in with a row of single crochets, but we are going to be switching out for our secondary color if you guys want your piping to be noticed, as I do. So all we're going to do is first insert our hook into this bottom corner loop that we have when it comes to our armhole within the body portion and then we're going to grab the bottom or the shortest portion of our sleeve and then attach that onto our hook as well and then from here we're just going to single crochet everything close but we are going to want to make sure that our seam is going to be facing the correct way because we do want them to be visible but all on the same side as well so as you guys can see my seam is visible along here and along here and the easiest way to make sure that you do that is just by pinching the front panel and the sleeve together upwards in whichever direction our other seams are going but once when we have that we're going to insert our hook we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook pull through and then we're going to chain up one to secure and we're just going to do the first two together we're going to be inserting our hook in through the first available loop that we have in the front panel and then also into the next available loop that we have in the back panel and then we're going to single crochet we're going to do just one more together so into the next available loop that we have in the front panel and also into the next available loop we have in the back and single crochet and we're going to keep doing this all the way up until we don't have any more loops left to go into we should be right where the shoulder seam is 
And then once when we get there, don't cut and tie because then we can flip over this sleeve panel and then start working on the other sleeve panel. So I'll meet you guys back once we get to the top. We've just made our way all the way up with our single crochet row along one side of the sleeve and now we're just going to flip things over and then introduce the next. So grabbing the other sleeve panel that we had, we're going to align the, the same way that we have the front part aligned. So we're just going to make sure that the shortest portion of the sleeve is along the bottom of the cardigan piece that we have right here. And then from here, we're just going to do the same thing that we did in the beginning. So into the next available loop that we have into the body portion, we're going to insert our hook into that next available loop. And then into the next available loop that we have into this other sleeve panel that we have, we're going to insert our hook in through there as well. And from here, we're going to single crochet. And let's do just one more together. We're going to be inserting our hook into the next available loop in the front panel and then into the next available loop that we have in the back panel and then single crochet. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way down. The tops of the sleeve and the bottom of the sleeve will not be connected just yet. I'll meet you guys back once we make it down to this bottom piece right here. We've now made it down to the bottom of our sleeve and we are going to connect everything together before we get started on going in with this bottom seam right here. But really quickly before we get started with that, if you guys want to keep the piping for this the same as the piping for this underarm portion for our sleeve, you guys don't have to cut and tie. But since the bottom is our secondary color, I will be switching out for our main color just for a little bit of contrast. So once when we're done connecting everything, I am going to cut and tie get my other color ready and then just go in with a row of single crochet along the bottom of the sleeve. But that is completely up to you guys. But now that I said that, we can now get started on finishing up the piping for this sleeve portion. So once when we get here, we don't have any more loops left to go into. We're going to be connecting into this side seam that we have, which is the same color as our secondary color for the piping for the sleeve that we're using. And then also into the first single crochet that we did along this piping that we did for the seam is just on the other side just to make sure that there's no gaps and so it looks a lot cleaner once when we actually wear it. So what we're going to do, this is going to be a little weird, but we're going to insert our hook into the very first loop that we have right here for the side seam. Just like that, we're going to pull that tight, trying to eliminate that gap. And also into this first single crochet that we have right here for the first single crochet that we did for this piping for the sleeve. So we're going to insert our hook into that. And from here, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything on our hook. And now everything from the side seam to the first single crochet for the sleeve, and then also the last single crochet for the sleeve is all connected. Once when I have that, I will be doing a chain up of one and cut, and then I'm going to go along the bottom of our sleeve with our base color. So working along the bottom of our seam, I am going to be switching out my color and this part's going to be super simple. All we're going to do is insert our hook into the closest loop that we have to this seam that we just made for ourselves. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through. Once we get here, we're going to do a chain up of one. And then we're just going to go along with a regular row of single crochet, making sure we're going in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time. Once we make it down to the end, we are going to cut and tie and then we'll seam the top of the sleeve together and then we'll go in with our cuff. We've just finished seaming up the bottom with our base color and we're switching back out to our secondary color and we're just going to close off this top portion of our sleeve together and then we're going to start working on the cuff from there. So this is going to be exactly the same way that we have done the bottom but the only difference is that we're first going to be inserting our hook into this last loop that we have for our shoulder chunk since it is the same color. Even though it's not the same color you can insert it into here anyways to also eliminate the gap that we could have. But all that is, is into this last loop that we have, into this shoulder chunk of single crochets that we did earlier in the video. We're going to insert our hook into that last loop. Insert our yarn onto our hook. We are going to pull through. And then from here, we are going to jump over this piping that we have right here. And then we're going to go into this first available loop that we have into the front panel. And then also into the first available loop that we have into the back panel. And then we're going to single crochet nice and tight to make sure that there is no gaps. And then once we have that, we're just going to go all the way down with a row of single crochet, making sure that we're going in through 
the front panel and the back panel at the same time and then we're going to cut and tie once we get to the end because we will be doing one row of single crochet that decreases with our base color and then we're going to be switching back out to our secondary color for the actual cuff so i'll meet you guys back once when we make our way all the way down the top portion of our sleeve so this is a sleeve once when it is all seamed up we don't have any more gaps left and next we're going to start working along the cuff and as you can see the sleeve is quite big so we are going to need to do some decreases before we can get started with the actual cuff portion so what we're going to do in order to help us get the sleeve a little bit smaller is introduce our base color one more time and from here we're going to go into the row of single crochet going around all of the loops that we have but instead of going in with alternating one single crochet to one two like how we've been doing for our side half doubles we're just going to be going in with one single crochet throughout all of the side half double crochet loops that we have that's going to help us decrease just a little bit so let's get that started so we're going to grab our same six millimeter hook insert our hook in through any one of these loops and from here we're just going to pull through chain up one to secure and then into each of these side half double crochet loops we're just going to be going in with one single crochet into each of those so go ahead and keep doing this all the way around once we make it back to this first side half double crochet loop we're going to connect with a slip stitch and then from there we are going to be switching out our colors so cut and tie and then we can get started on the rest of the cuff while still decreasing now that we've made it all the way around with our row of single crochet kind of decreasing as much as we can going around the entirety of our armhole now we're going to be switching out for our secondary color which is going to be the main color of our cuff and then also we're going to be doing a decrease of two double crochets into every single loop that we have going all the way around our cuff so let's get that started together we're going to start off by inserting our hook into any one of these loops it doesn't matter which one we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook pull through we're going to do a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet and then into the next two loops that we have we're going to be doing a decrease so we're going to prepare for a double crochet insert our hook into that next available loop yarn over pull through and then also into that next available loop yarn over pull through we should have four loops on our hook once we have that we're going to yarn over pull through three and then yarn over pull through two that counts as a decrease we're going to do that together one more time we're going to prepare for a double crochet into that next available loop yarn over pull through one into the next available loop yarn over pull through one and from here we're going to yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two and we're going to keep doing a double crochet decrease into every loop that we have going all the way back around and then once when we get back we're going to attach it with a slip stitch and then we're going to get started on the ribbing for the cuff which is just going to be a bunch of front and back post double crochets once we made our way all the way around with our decreases into every loop that we have with our double crochets we're going to be slip stitching into that first chain up of three that we did so we're going to count up one two three loops insert our hook into that third loop if i can get my hook into there and then connect with a slip stitch and that closes off this row and then from here we're just going to be going in with front and back post double crochets so let's show you guys how to do that it's going to start off with a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then into this first decrease that we have right here we're going to be doing a front post double crochet so we're going to be inserting our hook behind this post that we have and then bring it through the other side yarn over pull through that post and then from here we're going to finish off this double crochet just like normal so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that is our front post double crochet and now we're going to do a back post double crochet so we're going to prepare for another double crochet and it's going to be exactly the same thing but instead of going in through the front like how we just did we're going to be inserting our hook behind our work and then bringing it over the post in the previous row and then from here double crochet like normal so pull through pull through two pull through two that is a front and our back we're going to be doing this one more time just to show you guys and i'll let you guys do the rest on your own so we're going to prepare for a double insert our hook behind the post that we have in the previous row and then double crochet like normal that is our front post and let's do one more back post together so we're going to prepare for a back post insert our hook behind our work over the next available post that we have and then double crochet like normal 
Then we're going to keep doing this all the way around, alternating between front and back post double crochets. Once we make it back to this last post that we have, we're going to slip stitch into this chain up of three. And then we're going to be doing more rows of front and back post double crochets until you guys get the cuff length that you want. But we're going to meet each other back for the next row just so I can show you guys that we're going to be doing the same thing that we did in this row on top of it basically so the ribbon can extend. So I'll meet you guys back once we're at the end of this row. We just made our way back down with our first row of front and back post double crochets and we are going to be slip stitching into that first chain up of three that we did just like how we did in the previous row. So we're going to count up one, two, three. Insert our hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull through everything with a slip stitch. And now this first row of front and back post double crochets is all connected. So we're just going to start this next row off and then I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. But how we start this off is we're going to go up with a chain up of three. And then into this first post that we just did, we're going to be maintaining whatever post we did in the previous row. So for me, the first one that I did was a front post double crochet. So we're just going to do another front post double crochet into that next post. So let's do the next one together. We're going to prepare for a double. Insert our hook behind the post in the previous row because it is a front post. We're going to single crochet and the same thing into the next. The next one is a back post. So we're going to be doing a back post into there. And go ahead and keep doing this until you guys have the cuff length that you guys want. I will actually be going for three inches or about eight centimeters and that comes out to roughly six rows. So go ahead and keep doing this once we make it to the end. Once we make it to the end, go ahead and cut and tie and then we can do this entire sleeve sequence that we just did over here on the other side. Once when we have that done, we can go in with the front border and the bottom border pockets and then we'll be all done. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with both of our sleeves. We are looking at the side of the cardigan and this is the bottom right now. I'm showing you guys this way because the cardigan is so big there's no nice way to show you guys other than what you're seeing right now. But we have finished up doing everything that we just did in the previous clips. So the sleeves, the piping, the cuff, and we've closed up everything. And now we're going to start working on the bottom border and then once we're done with that we can start working on the front panels. But when it comes to the bottom border, we are going to go in with a row of single crochet just going all the way around just to make the bottom border cleaner once when we go in with our secondary color. So this first row, all we're going to do is insert our hook into this corner loop. It doesn't matter which corner you attach your hook into, just as long as it's one of the corners. Insert your yarn, pull through, chain up one to secure. And then once when we get here, we are going to be going in with putting just one single crochet into each of these side double crochets but we are going to keep our grip just a little bit looser because if we keep it tight then it will cinch in like how it did when we did our cuffs and we don't necessarily want this to cinch in but if we go in with one single two single one single two single just like how we did for the other parts then it could be just a little bit looser so we're going to have to compromise a little bit and do this a little bit differently. But basically what we're going to do is just insert our hook in through the first side half double and then we're going to single crochet but we're not going to pull it tight. That's all that is. Let's do this again into the next side half double and put one single crochet. Next side half double if we can find it. Here we go. Single crochet and we're just going to keep doing this all the way around until we reach the other corner on the other side. Once we reach there, we're going to chain up one and cut and grab your secondary color because we're going to go in with the bottom border right after that. So we've just finished up going in with a row of single crochet along the entirety of the bottom, making our way all the way around. And the next part we're going to do is the bulk of our bottom border. And that is actually going to be exactly the same way that we did our cuff minus the first row that was all decreases. I'm basically saying that they're all going to be front and back post double crochets. So let's just do the first row together and the first row is super easy. That's just going to be a regular row of double crochets going all the way around. And a quick tip, quick note, when we do our double crochet row or any of the rows after this, just don't pull too tight since we didn't pull too tight on this first row of single crochets because we don't want it to cinch. We just want it to lay down flat. So I will be grabbing my secondary color, making a slip knot. I'm going to insert my hook into this corner loop and 
And then once when it's in there, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and then pull through. Once when we have pulled through, we're going to do a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. And then we're just going to do the first double crochet together since this is going to be pretty simple. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. And then into that next available loop that we have, we're just going to go in with one double crochet. And then from here, we're just going to keep going all the way down, putting one double crochet into every loop until we have zero loops left. So basically until we get to the corner on the other side. And then once we did that, we will meet each other back up so that we can do front and back post double crochets for our bottom border. We just made it down to the other side of the bottom portion of our cardigan. We just went in with a row of double crochet along the bottom. And now we're just going to do a couple rows of front and back post double crochets, just like how we did the cuff, and this will make up the bottom border. So this is going to be fairly simple. I am also going to be going in with six rows of front and back post double crochets, and that comes out to three inches or about eight centimeters. So pretty much the same size as the cuff. So let's just do the first few together, and then we'll just do the rest on our own, and then we can do the side panels together, or the front panels, I'm sorry. But once when we are here, we're going to do a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. We're going to flip our work, prepare for a double crochet. We're going to separate these two posts and then behind this second post that we have, this is one, this is the second. We're going to be inserting our hook behind that post and bringing it through the other side. From there, we're going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. That is our first front post. From here, we're going to prepare for another one, but we're going to be going in through the back. So over this next post that we have and then double crochet like normal, remembering, well, that's not a double crochet, but remembering that we aren't pulling too tight because we don't want this to cinch. We're just going to do this back post one more time. There we go. And then we're just going to keep going back and forth with front and back post double crochets going all the way down to the other side. Once we make it to the end, we're going to do a chain up of three and then whatever post we had previously right before that chain up of three, we're going to do the same post into there. So if it's a front post double crochet in the previous row, we're going to do another front post or if it's a back post, we're going to do a back post. But either way, just keep all of your posts the same and then keep doing that until you have the bottom border size that you want. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the front panels together. So we are all finished with the bottom border. We should have something that looks a little like this. This is our five rows and we have cut and tied. And then once when we have this, we are going to prep right before we start doing the front panel. We're going to do a row of single crochet along the back portion. So let's show you guys where that's going to be. So right before we get started on doing the front panel, we're just going to go across from shoulder chunk to shoulder chunk with a row of single crochet, just so that once when we do the part that curves around our shoulder, it'll be a little bit cleaner. And this is gonna be fairly easy. We're just gonna go in with single crochets, putting one into each side half double. And then once we make it to the end, we are going to chain up one and cut. So let's just insert our hook and then we can go from there and then we'll do the front panel together. So we're gonna be going in with our base color because this is where we're going to be working into. And then once when we have that, we're going to be inserting our hook. What I like to do is insert my hook into this shoulder chunk corner that we have just so that this can lay down flat as well. We're just going to insert our hook into there and then also into the first available side half double crochet that we have. So this one is occupied with the piping that we did for the shoulder. So we're actually going to take a look at the one that's right next to it and then insert our hook into there, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through everything. And once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of one. And then we're just going to go across the row of single crochet, putting one into every side half double crochet row. Once we make it to this last loop, we will be inserting our hook in through this shoulder chunk corner loop as well, just like how we did over here, just to make this a little bit cleaner. Once we get that, we're going to chain up one and cut and then get your secondary color ready so that we can go on with the front panel. We have just finished up going in with our row of single crochet from shoulder chunk to shoulder chunk. And then once when we have that, we can start working on the front border. So what we're gonna do is slide this up just a little bit so that we can get this started together. So into this bottom corner loop that we have, we are going to be inserting our hook into this corner loop. And then from here, we're going to insert our secondary color or whatever color you want the front panel to be. 
onto our hook, pull through, and I'm going to start off by doing a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. Once when we have our chain up of three, we are going to be working into these side double crochets for just a little bit right before we get into the body portion. So into each of these side double crochets, we're going to be going in with two double crochets. So we're going to prepare for a double into this first side double. There is one and two double crochets. We're going to do the same thing into the next. Here is one and two into that next side double. Another one. And if we can, two into the next. I have two more side doubles to do, so let's just stick together really quickly. There is one, and then we got one more. Two, and then here we go, one and two. So we just went in putting two double crochet into each side double crochet that we had going up our bottom border. And then once we have that, we are going to be putting one double crochet into each of these regular loops that we have going all the way up until we have just one loop left that is right next to this single crochet row that we just did for the back. Once we get here, we are going to be doing a decrease just so that this first row of double crochets can curve. But I'll meet you guys back once when we have put one double crochet into every loop all the way up until this point. So we've just made it all the way down with our first row of double crochets and like I said we are now at this corner where our shoulder portion is and we're just going to be doing a decrease so that our work can start to curve so that we can get that going for the back. So I just have one more loop left in here so I'm going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into the last loop that we have into this front panel that we have, yarn over, pull through and then into this first loop that we have into the back panel yarn over, pull through, we're going to yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our decrease for this portion. And then from here, we're going to continue to go down. Now we're working in the back with one double crochet into every loop that we have until we have just one loop left into this back portion. Then we're going to do the same thing that we did here, but on the other side, right when we get into this corner, we're going to be doing a decrease. But I'll meet you guys back once we get here so that we can do that together as well. We just made it all the way down our back portion, just putting one double crochet into every loop that we had, and we did leave the last loop so that we can go into there, and then also into the first single crochet loop that we have into the front panel on this side. So let's just do that decrease again. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that last loop that we have into this back piece. We're going to yarn over, pull through, we're going to angle our work just a little bit. And then we're going to insert our hook into the first single crochet loop that we have into this front panel. And then from here, we are going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And then that is our decrease. And from here, we can continue going down, putting one double crochet into every loop that we have. And then once we get all the way down to the bottom, we do have that bottom border to do. We will still be putting two double crochets into each of those side double crochets. And then once we don't have any more loops left, we're going to be going in with a couple rows of front and back post double crochets, just like how we went in with the bottom border in the cuff. But I'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together as well. So we've just gone all the way down with our first row of double crochets for our front panel. And that went all the way around the neck and down the other side as well. And then from here, it's going to take a little bit, but we're going to do more front and back post double crochets, just going all the way down up and over the neck and then down the other side. We're gonna chain up three and then go back. And this is basically gonna be the same way that we did the bottom border or the cuff, just whatever we did in the previous row. So this first row, we're gonna start off by doing a front post double crochet. We'll do that together in a second. But once when we get to the end and we're starting our second row of front and back post double crochets, we're just gonna be repeating whatever post we had in the previous row. So if it was a front post, you're gonna do a front post on top of that, or if it was a back post, you're gonna do a back post on top of that. So it's gonna be fairly simple, and I'm gonna be doing these rows of front and back post double crochets going around the entire border for about a total of four rows, and that's including this first row of double crochets right here, and that's about two inches or five centimeters. But once when we have that, we are gonna go in with more <laughs> front and back post double crochets, but it's just going to be for the front portion. We aren't going to be going into the back portion after that, but 
I would just wanted to tell you guys that now as a fair warning to make sure that you guys don't make this first one too thick because this is going to go behind the neck as well. But now that we have all that out of the way, we can just go in with our first set of front and back post double crochets and then I'll let you guys go from there. Well, once we get here, we're going to do a chain up of three that counts as a double flip our work and then we're going to do a front and a back post together. So we're going to prepare for a front post, insert our hook into that post that we have in the previous row, yarn over, pull through, double crochet like normal. Prepare for another double crochet. We're going to go behind our work with a back post, double crochet. We're going to yarn over, pull through, double crochet like normal. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around up and over for as many rows as you guys want. Then I'll meet you guys back so that we can thicken up just the front portion of our front panel and then we'll go in with the pockets right after that. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with our front and back post double crochets going around the entirety of our front panel. So it goes up here. I'm not going to move it because it's difficult because it's big, but it goes around the neck portion and then down the other side as well. This is all one big piece so far. And from here along this side, we're just going to extend this out. I'm just going to be going out by two rows. And then once when we get up to the neck portion, we aren't going to be curving it and then working our way back down. We're just going to go in up until we get to this neck portion. We're going to insert our hook into here with a slip stitch. Sorry, I couldn't remember the word slip stitch. And then we're going to work our way back down. So this front portion is going to be getting thicker while the back or the back of the neck portion is going to remain the same. So. From here, we're just going to continue what we have been doing this entire time, just doing front and back post double crochets into whatever post we have into the previous one, still maintaining that same pattern all the way up until we get to this last post that we have. And this is going to be different for everyone. If you guys need an indicator of where to stop, you guys can actually just look at this single crochet row that we did when we were seaming up our shoulder chunk and then whichever post is right next to that. We're just going to stop into that post right there. So it could be a front, it could be a back that is completely up to your work, but either way, as long as it's somewhere near this seam, we should be good. So go ahead and do a row of front and back post double crochets all the way up until we get to where this shoulder seam is. And then I'll meet you guys back to show you guys how we're going to connect it into the back of the neck portion. So we just made our way down with our next row of front and back post double crochets and then we made it all the way down to this neck portion and we are going to slip stitch it into the second loop that we have into the base and then from there we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops and then go back down with more front and back loop double crochets. So let's connect it into the base together and then we can move on from there. So taking a look at where we're at I'm just going to show you guys where to insert your hook. This may be a little tricky, so I'm going to try and show you guys the best as I can, but it is staying straight instead of curved, so it might be a little confusing. But the last double crochet that I did was obviously right here. This is, this doesn't matter if it's a front or a back post double crochet, this is going to be the same. But into this loop that we have right here, this loop from the previous row actually counts as this one right here. So when I say we're going to be counting into the next two loops that we have into our base. We're not going to be counting this first available loop because this is actually the same as this loop that's right on top of it. So from here, we're going to be counting out these next two loops that have absolutely nothing into it. So we're going to count one, count two. We're going to be inserting our hook into that second loop with a slip stitch, just like that. And as you guys can see, it's starting to curve in just a little bit. And then in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into the next two loops. From here, we're going to flip our work. I'm going to do that off camera because this is a really big piece, but we're going to flip our work and then work our way back down with more front and back post double crochets. And then if you guys want to add more rows than just this extra one, it's the same thing if you guys want to work your way back up to do more rows. So I'll meet you guys back once when I have this portion done and then I will also do the same thing along the other side of my front panel because it will be exactly the same and then we'll meet each other back once we're ready to do the pockets. Okay so we are back and this is our cardigan. You guys can't see much of it because it's very large but this is what we have for our front panels and then we are almost done. The next thing we have to do is go in 
with a bunch of pockets. I'm actually going to be making four of them because this is going to be reversible. If you guys only want them on one side, put them on one or no pockets as well, whatever you guys want to do. But I'm just going to show you guys how to make this pocket size and then we'll attach it and then we'll be good. So I already have three pockets done. We're going to be doing the fourth one together. And I do want this pocket to be able to fit my phone. So I'm going to start off by making a base chain of five inches or 13 centimeters. And that comes out to about 15 chains. Once when we have our base chain, what we're going to do is block off that last chain with our thumb, do an extra chain up of one. And then into that second loop from our hook, we're going to go in with a single crochet. And then from here, we're going to put one single crochet into every loop that we have going all the way back down our chain. Once we make it to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then go back down with rows of single crochet. And I'm going to keep going until I have this solid chunk of single crochet that amounts out to four inches or 10 centimeters or 15 rows of single crochet. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do this little bit of ribbing detail that we have along the top of our pocket. We've just gone in with our 15 rows or our four inches or 10 centimeters. And now we're going to be going in with our first row of double crochet that goes right on top. So this is going to be pretty simple. We're going to do a chain up of three that counts as a double. Prepare for a double crochet, go into that first loop with a double. And then from here, we're just gonna go all the way down just the top, putting one double crochet into every loop that we have. Once we make it to the end, we're gonna do a chain up of three, flip our work, and then do one row of front and back post single crochets, just like how we've done the other spots where we did our front and back post single crochets. And then from there, we're just going to go around with the row of single crochet around the entirety of the pocket so that it's easier to attach. And then we will be all done after we attach it. But since we are almost at the end of this first row of double crochet, we'll just stick with each other really quickly. Just got two more loops. There is second to last. And then there is to last. Once when we have that, we're going to do a chain up of three flip our work, and then we're going to prepare for a double, go into that first post with a front post double crochet, prepare for a double crochet, go behind that next post, and go in with a back post double crochet. And then from here, alternate between front and back, and then once you guys get to that last post that we have, we are gonna be doing a chain up of one and then single crocheting around the entirety of the pocket. So I'll meet you guys back once we get there so we can do that. We have just finished up going in with our front and back post double crochet rows. From here, we're going to go around the side, the bottom, and around the other side with a row of single crochet. So from here, we're going to do a chain up of one, and we're going to be working into these side double crochets first. So into this first side double crochet, we're going to go in with two singles. We have one more side double. We're going to go in with two singles into there. And then from here, we are just going to be putting one single into every side single crochet row that we have. So if you guys did the same amount of rows that I did, we are going to end up not counting this little chunk of double crochet and front and back post double crochets. We should have a total of 15 single crochets just along this bottom portion right here. And then once we get to the corner, we're going to do a chain out of one, turn our work just a little bit and then work along the bottom and that chain out of one is just to help us maintain that corner so it doesn't get smushed when we <laughs> try to turn our work so since we are almost at the end we're just going to stick with each other we have this last loop to go into then once we go into there we're going to do a chain out of one turn our work now we're going to be working along the bottom insert our hook into that first loop that we have on the bottom and then single crochet and then put one single crochet into each of these loops. This part's going to be normal because these are regular loops. Once we get to the other corner, do a chain out of one and then put one single crochet into every side single crochet row that we have. And then once we make it over to the double crochet and front and back post double crochets, we're gonna be putting two singles into each of those. And once we get to the end, go ahead and cut and tie. And then if you guys are making yours reversible, Go ahead and make one more pocket just so we can get one side done and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can attach it all together. So we have our pockets all finished up and now we are ready to just sew them into our work. So what I'm going to recommend you guys do from here is try on the cardigan and then insert a stitch marker where you guys want 
the pockets to lay that is going to be completely up to you guys but once when we have figured that out if you guys are doing a reversible cardigan and you guys are putting pockets on both sides you're going to want to grab both of your pockets lay the first one down on top just like how i did right here and then from here we're going to be inserting our tapestry needle with our working yarn into it into one of the top corners and then from here all we're going to do is just place it behind our work and then since i want my pocket to start right here i'm going to find that loop on the bottom side insert my let's first take out the stitch marker and then insert my needle underneath and then bring this on through and then this part is going to be pretty self-explanatory so i'm not going to stick with you guys for this also because i don't have any tips this is just sewing everything together but all you guys are going to do is just weave our tapestry needle in and out of every loop, making sure that it's going into the same row along the body of the cardigan and also into the same stitches when you go across. And then once we have that, we're just going to tie it nice and tight to make sure that it's secure and then do the same thing on the other side. And then once we have that, I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys what we're looking at. And once when we are done with going in with our pockets on both sides, we are all done. The last thing that we need to do is just weave in all of our ends. Here is the remake to our beloved reversible cardigan with some improvements and a pattern to follow along. Link is in the description if you'd like to grab that, or you can enter this week's pattern giveaway by commenting and telling us what you're most looking forward to in the new year to be entered to win both of this week's patterns. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, give this video a thumbs up and let us know what you liked about it, but if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, but let me know how we can improve. If you love it, be sure to hit that bell so you know when there's new uploads for you. And also, be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. If you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel, links to Poshmark, Depop, and Etsy are down there too, along with tools used. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.